How to edit Shopify order confirmation email step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys step by step how you can edit the Shopify order confirmation emails that are sent out. These are some of the most opened emails that you are going to be sent from your store. And it's really pertinent to make sure that these emails fit your overall brand aesthetic and even promote other brand items. So let's get started. Now, to get started with editing those emails, all you have to do is log on to your Shopify dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, you're going to click on settings. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you're going to scroll down and you will see these options on the left. Now, one thing to note is that if you are using a third party platform to send out your emails, you're going to change your order email over there. So if you're using something like MailChimp, GoDaddy, or any other third-party tool, you need to go on to those particular third-party sites to edit your order confirmation. But if you're using the default one that Shopify has provided you, you're going to edit it from here. So open up the settings tab and then go into notifications on the left. Once you go into notifications, you're going to scroll down and you will see this section called customer notifications. Click on customer notification and you will see all of the email templates that are going to be sent. This includes your order confirmation. So click on the order confirmation over here and you will get a preview of your particular email. So this is what a general email is going to look like. You can click on edit code to actually edit the code and one thing to note is that before you can edit any of these, you have to review and verify your email ID. So I'm going to set up a sender email over here like this. Then click on save on the top right. Now keep in mind that your sender email is going to be the email that is going to appear in the address boxes of all of your consumers. So they will be seeing this email. Usually this is going to be a purchased email, such as a email like miracle at haircare.com, something like that, depending on your brand name. But for the purpose of this video, I am just using this simple email that I have. So I'll just click on verify email over here to verify this email address so I can begin customization on my Shopify store. So once we have customized, we can go into customer notifications then click on order confirmation. Then we can click on edit code. Now you might say, hey, I don't know how to edit code. Well, don't worry. If you are looking to just edit some elements, you can just go back. And if you are looking to just edit some elements, you can just go back and go into notifications. Once you go into notifications, you can click on the emails that you want, so your customer notification emails, and then click on customize email templates on the top right. From here, you can insert your logo, your colors, your order confirmation. You know, it will display a preview of your order confirmation over here. So the accent color that I want to use is a pink. So I'll add that here. Then I will click on add image and I will add a logo image that I would like to use for my store. So I have uploaded that and I'll click on done. Now this will use my logo image instead. Now I'll click on save on the top right to make these changes. You guys can see now a lot of people might say, hey, this is not, I want more changes. And I'll show you guys exactly how you can make more changes. To do that, go back into notifications. Once you go into notifications, you're going to click on custom notifications. Click on order confirmation. Then you're going to click on edit code. Now, a lot of people might say, hey, I don't know how to edit this code. Don't worry. I'll show you guys exactly how to edit this code. Now, you will see there is the text that has the brackets. Any text that is present outside the brackets, like this simple black text that you can read, this is text that you can easily edit. So you're going to see two different types of values in this. The first one is going to be if the order has a pending payment or if the order has a purchased, so a credit card or a prepayment. 
And you also see buyer action. So a confirmation email after the payment is completed or a payment that is completed and you'll get the email when you know your order is confirmed. Now, if you scroll down and you want to further customize the appearance of your email, you will see this is a lot of code, which I don't recommend you play around with. But if you want, you can actually play around with this and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that as well. You can go into ChatGPT and as you guys can see, this is HTML code. So what you're going to do is you're going to ask ChatGPT to write an HTML code for a art emoji and a link to this and then in this i'll just add another shopify product that i might have so let's say i'll just add any random website link so i'll just link this website over here and link to this website with text saying buy more like this and now what chat gpt will do for you is that it's going to write the code for you now this can be done to promote more products and this can help you in you know promoting other products that you have now i will add this at the end of my email like this but make sure to add this before your body text if you don't add this before your body text what that will do is that this won't show up so add a couple of spaces once you add a couple of spaces you're going to paste in the code then click on save on the top right. Now, once you save this, your changes will be completed. And you can click on preview to see whether or not the changes are working. So this is our current section. Here's a heart emoji and a link to the you know website with text buy more, buy more. So obviously I have to make some changes, but for the most part, we can you know customize the code a little more and get the chat GPT to generate, you know, accurate code. Now, after this, if you want to customize things like the thank you for your purchase. So instead of thank you for your purchase, I wanted to say thank you for buying or thank you for your purchase with Miracle Hair Care. With Miracle Hair Care. And I'll just click on save on the top right. And now I'll click on preview. And you guys will see it has changed the text over here and you can customize your order confirmations from here on Shopify. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.